So it's been about a week and a half since I've done the audacity is way too high. Hashtag mirrors for men. And we're going to rectify that today. This is your blanket trigger warning. If you are drinking anything, put it aside, especially any hot beverages. That is your blanket trigger warning. So we're going to start off with Nero. He says black women are single because they want to get paid for being in a relationship. So that's why we're just all out here being um, women of the night, just looking to get paid. So he, here's Nero. I need you to take in this whole picture. And I need all of us to have the faith that Nero has in these buttons to stay buttoned. But y'all see why he got his little uh, man tatas hanging out. Because if he buttoned one more button, those buttons are not going to, they're not going to last. And then we're going to... Focus in on these knuckles here. The, as, the, the ashiness is just apparent that this is a well-worn man. Have the strength to get to any of your goals like the strength that these buttons have to keep this shirt on this man. So I know that this isn't a dating profile video, but y'all needed to see Jonathan on today. Jonathan is 31. He says he is a Chilean American that's well hung thick with a curve and some big balls. That is his opening sentence on his bio. I'm just looking for friends with similar interests, i.e. not looking for any long-term commitments, but if it happens, I would not complain. If you're a fan of leg shaking, orgasms, and trembling, look no further. I love all races equally, thick or thin. The older you are, the thicker my peen swells. He put this together, and I'm wondering, ladies, which one of you, of all races, thick or thin, he is all for it, and he likes some older? Let me know. If this man is 31, I am the president of Las Vegas. That is a well-worn rug and a well-worn 31-year-old. The caption of this post says, it came from a TikTok about how men don't care if a woman has a perfect body or not. And then Sean says, well, no one has a perfect body. I expect her to be active and fit as me. So maybe I need to date 20 years younger at least. All of them have been over 45 and lazy. So he says, fit as me. And maybe I need to date 20 years younger. Let's see what Sean looks like. Sean is delusional. This is Sean. Sean is delusional and apparently he does not own any mirrors and active as him. Yeah. What, what is this activity level? And please explain to me what 20 something year old or at, well, yeah, 20 something year old is going to be taking pity on Sean and dating Sean. So this is obviously a woman getting a piercing. And then Andre at the bottom says, I love that women do these kinds of facial piercings. It's like a massive signal to the high value men to stay clear. It's a massive signal like, hey, stay clear, high value men. Let's look at Andre. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> this is Andre, y'all. <sighs> Looking like an obese Amish person that needs a hat right here or like a troll under this bridge. Like just imagine that this is a bridge, <laughs> but Andre talking about a high value man. Like why do all of these peen havers think that they need to incorporate high value men into the things that they type? Morgan randomly rating this woman. Morgan says she is seven at best. Morgan. Let's see what Morgan is working with. Y'all be prepared for Morgan. Be prepared. <laughs> this is Morgan, y'all. Look at this pose. Look at this face. Like Zoolander. Just awkward. Look at this awkward smile. <laughs> These people just be playing in our faces. Hashtag mirrors for men. I don't know what post this was attached to, but this man with this red hat says, that's a woman. I wouldn't bang her with your tool. And Sanders says, I think she'll be fine without your approval, my dude. Looking all rugged in all of his years, but yes, hashtag mirrors for men. So we have an Ulta beauty ad, and this woman is promoing or displaying how to put on some shimmer. And this man, Andrew, said... If she's over 110 pounds, 
she's wasting her time. Yes, yes, that's what Andrew said. If she's over 110 pounds, she's wasting her time. And this is what Andrew says. It, I would gladly always be over 110 pounds just to make sure that Andrew continues to cycle by me. Because please, no one wants to talk to you, Andrew. So here's a meme. It says a guy's five foot seven and it gives a little man. And then a girl's five foot seven with a big woman. And um, the caption says, it's because girls don't lie about their height, LOL. And then Don says, no, they lie about having kids with three baby daddies and how they look without makeup. Or if they still talk to their exes and sleeping around on you. <laughs> <laughs> they so aggressive. And Emma was like, damn, who hurt you? And then Richard, who we, who we don't have a picture for, Richard says, don't forget half of them are delusional and think they are God's gift with all the lies adding to it. These men have big feelings this morning. What I do want you to look at, I don't know what country this is from. Like, look at these um, words under here. I have no idea what this is. And it just goes to show you how the red pill talking points are literally everywhere. But regardless, this is Don. This is Don Stewart back in December 2022. And if you look here, you will see the receding hairline back in 2022. So I am sure more than one and a half years later, it has receded any more. I mean, even more. And it has probably resulted in him being extra angry at women and feeling the need to lash out. I think that is the problem. Now my audacity ambassador has sent me some things from the 50 Shades of Black anime group. So this was the picture. When you finally meet a man who has goals, isn't full of himself, asks you out at 12 p.m. and not 12 a.m. and talks about his feelings. And then the caption says, I like you as a friend. So that is what they posted in the Fifty Shades of Black anime. Now, my Audacity ambassador, she posted this meme when Encelosauruses write fiction. And then she says, all right, who keeps giving these fools art supplies and internet access? So she posted that underneath the picture. Let's look at some of the comments under this post. Terrence says, this is partially true to a certain degree, because you needed to put both of those in there to a certain degree and partially true. Because some people get listed in the dreaded friend zone. I've experienced it several times and I've seen it happen to other people as well. My advice is just move on and do you because eventually someone is going to notice you. Just make sure you don't have any excesses bag baggage with you. Excesses. He, he said that excesses. I didn't just stutter. So it looks like Terrence has excesses sweating going on right now. And he posted this picture by himself. It looks like he probably also, if you look at his eyes and his under eyes, he probably drink it, drinks excessively and he probably should take care of that and stay out of the friend zone or at least learn how to be a friend. Then maybe, you know, a relationship could progress. And then Jared says, LOL, and watch how many sudden claims of this very guy being physically unattractive or somehow deliberately evil pops up because for some reason a guy like this is coincidentally always unattractive or schematically devious that is what jared said and this is jared and you see that his name is sideways because he posted this picture sideways i had to turn the picture because why did he post the picture sideways but if you look the reason why he might be having issues is in this middle section of his bodacious body right here. And he got some other things going on, but it's not just the issues of being schematically evil or, you know, unexpectedly unattractive or whatever he said. We really do need to get the Mirrors for Men organization up and running. But ladies, continue to be a reflection and let these people know what they are looking like and just remind them that they have no wiggle room to be talking about women's looks. Just keep that in mind. Hashtag mirrors for men. <laughs> let me know which, um, which ones were the favorite that, that stuck out to you the most. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.